What do you have to say about what you said to Logan about liking liking Prime? You can't say it on camera. Did you not watch the video I just made about it, brother? I've talked about Prime being good on camera like a thousand times. I even played an example from the most, like, blatant example. It's not like a secret. I prefer gamer subs, but Prime's always been tasty. And I've always said that. I've never had a single negative thing to say about Prime. Logan bitched you. Be honest about it. Brother, Logan Paul opened, opened by saying he loves my videos, watches my streams, and actually appreciated me talking shit about him. That was legitimately how he, like, introduced himself to me. Taking full accountability and everything. What are you talking about? You think he was being serious? Delusional. What the fuck are you talking about, man? I recognize your name. You just come in here with, like, the most unhinged shit of all time. I can't tell if you're serious or not. As I said, after the event as well, Logan Paul was very cordial. So what am I going to do? Start spitting and shitting on him when he was in the process of making amends with his scam? The whole point of calling someone out is a goal. And the goal was to get his victims the money back. Which at the time, he was. Maybe still is. The CoffeeZilla stuff hadn't happened. He opened up by taking full responsibility, talking about how he deserved all the shit that I ever said about him, and was extending an olive branch. What am I going to do? Spit? Piss on him? It's called basic human decency. And socialization. Completely flipped on Logan Paul after one Mr. Beast video. As I said, after the filming, like on stream, he was cordial and he was very respectful. Took full accountability. And it, going to the streams, if you go to like the second channel and look at the stream clips where I've talked about Logan over the last eight months. I have talked about how he's finally looking, to change, or finally looking like he's changing his shit around. Which was always the goal. What do you mean? I don't understand where this is coming from. I don't know where people get their info from. Like, I've never shit on Prime, ever. So I don't know where that came from. And Logan, I have always shit on. And he even said himself, deserved all of it. And over the last, like, six or so months, he has been making amends to try and make all the victims whole again. Uh, when it comes to, like, the, what was it, the Prime microplastics thing, I actually agreed with Logan on the entire thing about it being a bunch of fucking baloney. Like, all of this is very much in line with what it's been this entire time. I just don't understand. Like, I don't know if people understand human interaction in the real world or not. But I don't know why it became such a big deal. Because by the same metric, you can say that for about 40 other people in that competition. Ludwig as well. He's called out Logan a ton of times. They were buddy-buddy. Everyone was because everyone was being respectful. Like, no one's gonna make a huge fucking scene at a Mr. Beast video when everyone's extending an olive branch, letting bygones be bygones, when Logan Paul had demonstrated that he was actually receptive to all of the criticism and all of the shit-flinging. That's the whole point of calling someone out. There's like childish belief system that when you disagree with someone or you have shit with someone, you can never, ever, ever listen to them, talk to them, or be cordial with them. It's absolutely cringe. Where was this energy with Sneeko? I talked to Sneeko directly. Did a whole hour and a half intervention with Sneeko. And at the time, that was over a year ago now, so I guess the internet's culture has completely changed. At the time, that was like, damn, Charlie, that was so big of you to actually talk to this guy that you've shit on so much. And now all of a sudden, it's super different with Logan. Someone who has actively been changing, at least until the CoffeeZilla lawsuit, which wasn't present at the time. That's new. Sneeko straight up talked to you, admitted his fault. Logan Paul does it for business. Okay, let's, ex let's go ahead and go down that then. Sneeko talked to me, admitted his faults. I don't know what interview you watched there because he is still doing the exact same shit right now. So if anything, he was much more of a liar. Logan is at least trying to give refunds and then suing CoffeeZilla like a fucking brain dead lunatic. So it'd be the same thing by your logic.